They ring the bell, and here we go. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. <laughs> Nothing but air on that left uppercut. We welcome you to this beautiful theater where every seat has been sold, but the fans will only need the edge. We expect a standing ovation when these two are done. This is that place you want to say, I fought there, I've been there, and now we are here. Can't find a home for that jab. You'd like to see more jabs. A very competitive round here so far. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now, this fight will say, you know what? I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. When you're fighting a counter puncher, the feint can be such a good weapon. Pretend you're going to punch, make the counter puncher throw a punch, and then you counter them. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. This is not where John O'Carroll wants to be. Looks like they've shaken. And you knew this was coming. They're going to take a knee. That must have really dented the ego. You don't want your opponent to see you do that. Let's talk about Frampton in that one. And there's the bell to start the round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Off the charts action from both of these fighters. for John O'Carroll. Down goes John O'Carroll. As we watch it again one more time, appreciate the perfection of that knockout shot. A shot from the gods took him out. At some point, the corner has to stop the fight for this fighter because he's not going to lay down. He's got to waste time. Get step behind the referee. When he comes in close, tie him up. The referee's then got to paw you. Walk around the ring. You've just got to make the most of it because if you let him jump back on you again, he's going to get momentum and pull you down again. And that's a lot of points to lose in the round. Halfway through the round, and they've got some work to do to get back into it. It's that forever hope. You remember the fight at Evander Holyfield? He could be behind on points until the last 10 seconds, but he's fighting like he's going to put it back. That's the kind of hope we need to see. Oh, and there he caught him with a stiff jab. Not a lot of punch output. Thought John O'Carroll stumbling and bumbling now. King Kong is down. Let's watch that again and replay from a different angle. That's lights out right there. about O'Carroll in that last. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. 
It's been a nightmare so far. What can they do to turn this around? A few knockdowns in that last round. There'll be sheer panic in that corner. What do they do? Do they throw the towel in? <coughs> do they let him come back out again? Because they know their fighter is like a lamb to the slaughter. If you're a counter puncher, then basically you do the counter attack. You let them get their punch off first, and then you answer in kind. Counter punch is my favorite kind of fighter. A good counter puncher, they're the people that make the history of our sport. An uppercut does not score. How about that time counter shot? Halfway through the round, and I don't know who's got the advantage. Great stuff. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. He's got to figure out a way to neutralize that length. Hard reach as well as speed, reach as well as power. What more can a fighter ask for? He's dropped the guard now. What do you think of that decision? Do you believe what we are? You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Talk about Frampton in that last round. At this point, you gotta believe. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. So not the best round, but let's see if they can turn it around here. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Needs to put some combination work together. One punch is good, two punch is better. The end may be near. Down goes Carroll. It looked great live. How will it look again on slow motion replay? I've got to see that again. Need to pick things up here in the second half of the round. So he's back on his feet, but he's got to somehow turn this around. The corner need to think nice and sharp. They know their fight. They know what their fight is capable of doing and what their fight can and cannot take. This is going to be a tough decision to make. He's up, but, but for how long? Look at that. On the heels. Look at it. There's nothing there. There's no defense. The eyes are glazed. It just takes one more clear shot. A clean one. Then he's out of there. Courage on display here is incredible. So he's going to shake off the cobwebs and bounce around the ring. This is not where John O'Carroll won. Kevin Kong finally goes down. One punch did the trick. Let's see it again in slow motion. I need to see that again. So time to go celebrate after a knockout win here. A knockout victory. That's not a knockout victory. That is somebody saying, I'm here. 